Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today with August's Favorites. I'm sorry my hair is kind of flat because I went, I curled it, it was really nice, and I went to Walmart and it's pouring down rain, so this is what I ended up with. I'm just going to have to go with it because I'm not redoing it, obviously. So it's August, it's the getting to be the end of summer, and I don't have a lot of favorites this month. Um, I mean, I have some in this little box here, but not too many. So the first thing I want to talk about is two eyeshadows. The first one is by MAC and it's called Bamboo. It's just a matte eyeshadow which is perfect for the crease. I just love this one for the crease. It's just amazing and you can't even see it hardly on my hand. It just blends right in. Um, I wear that almost every day. And the other one is Makeup Geek and it's called Prom Night. And it looks like this. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Her eyeshadows are so beautiful and so pigmented. This is like a taupey color, but it's um has, I would say, a purple undertone to it. So there's that. Then I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer that I got from Ipsy. It's just a sample, but this is an amazing bronzer. I love it, and I've never used the Chocolate Soleil bronzer before. But I would definitely purchase this in a full size when I run out of this, but I think this will last me a while. It's a really good size sample. Then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. I haven't used this in a really long time, and I recently just got it back out, and I'm in love with it. It is so pretty, and now that fall's coming, look at that. Gorgeous. pigmentation on that. Beautiful. It's just stunning. The sheen on it is just stunning. Look at that. Beautiful color. When you put that on your eyes, your eyes just pop. They're just... I just can't even describe how beautiful this eyeshadow is. Um, and I believe it is a... I don't have Max Tan Pigment, but I believe this is a dupe for Max Tan Pigment. So if you wanted that and you couldn't afford it, this is a cheaper alternative. Then I have MAC Shot on Ice Pro Longwear Paint Pot, which I keep going back to. I, it's just one that I really like. You see that? Um, find a place to put it. It's just very sparkly. And it's right there. Um be hard to get on video here. Just really pretty. The, the camera doesn't do it justice. But it's a great base. You can wear it alone too because it actually does show up on your eyes. Then I have the um, Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation in 220 Nude. I got this back out. It's almost empty actually. But I go back and forth between foundations, and this is one I always go back to. I really like it. And this one is actually paraben-free. Then I have the Grace My Face Mineral Makeup in Light Beige. I'm going to order myself another one of these. I'm almost out. I really like this. The only thing I'm... See, there's not very much left. Can you tell? The only thing I don't like about this... I mean, it has a really nice, like, sifter thing. Or you can actually turn it and then the holes are shut. But I have to dump it in this little tiny lid. And just to give you an idea, here is the Revlon Color Stay. And here's this dinky little lid. And you gotta dump it in there. And then my kabuki brush that I use is bigger than it. And so that's kind of hard. I think maybe if I put it in another container, found another container to put it in, it would be great. This is actually it's supposed to be a foundation, but I use it as a setting powder, and it's great. Love that. I found that on Etsy, and I can link the seller's name in the description box so you can find it, too. Then I have two mascaras, both of which are fantastic, both of which are samples. The first one is Urban Decay Perversion. I love this mascara. Hands down the best mascara I've ever used. Love it. It makes them longer. It makes them fuller. It's amazing. And this one I have on today, I got it in my birthday gift from Sephora. It's the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. It is also awesome. It looks like this. 
this has a really weird shaped wand. It's like a cone. It's really big too. And then here's the one from um, Urban Decay. So you can actually see the difference between the two wands. They're definitely different. But they both are amazing mascaras. So there's that. Just a couple more things. I love this little Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. Little baby one. It's awesome. Love that. And then two things by 100% Pure and a perfume. This perfume is by Pacifica. It's called Tunisian, Tunisia Gardenia, which you probably can't see because it's like on this um, thing. But it smells uh, floral and I don't know. I think you, you could definitely wear it all year long. It has like a, a deeper floral scent, but it's not just floral. It's amazing perfume. And then the last two things are by 100% Pure. The organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream is the best eye cream I've ever used. It hydrates. It makes my fine lines under my eyes less noticeable. I love this. And the other one is the 100% Pure Vanilla Bean Nourishing Body Cream. This smells amazing. It actually smells like vanilla. Not like those cheap vanilla imitation scents that you get. This one smells so good. And I don't know if you can tell, but I've already used it down to here. So I love this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then the last thing I have is just a random household favorite. And part of it are these chalkboard labels that are from Dollar Tree, but you can get these at Hobby Lobby um, or other art supply stores. But these ones happen to be from Dollar Tree, and they're just chalkboard labels. And this is a Bistro Chalk Marker, and the color is, I don't know, it's fluorescent pink. But it's a Bistro Chalk Marker. It looks like this. And I've been working on my pantry to organize everything. And in order to do that, I have these canisters, and I take the chalkboard marker, and I write on it. Like this one says brown sugar. That's what's in this canister. And when you put them all together, they look so cute. And you can use any canister. These ones I got at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. But you can use any one you want. But look how that pops on there. And when you put all the containers together with a similar label, it just looks so cohesive and so neat. So that's everything for my monthly favorites, and thanks again. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.